I want to talk today about playing a round with pain or more specifically starting a round of golf with or experiencing pain. First of all, if you're new here, welcome. It'd be great for me if you hit the subscribe button below. Uh, and for any returning visitors or new people to this channel, if you see anything in this video you think you didn't know or that you've learned or you found valuable, great for me if you hit the like button and also drop a comment below if you've got any questions. So I know that a lot of the players that I work with or come to see me for help or a lot of people that I play with experience pain and I'm talking today specifically about the pain at the start of a round. So think stepping up onto the first tee, uh, maybe putting the putting the tee in the ground, bending over, taking a few practice swings, that kind of pain, stiffness, this type of sensation that we're feeling just before the round begins or for the first few holes. So if you are experiencing pain at the start of a round, we're thinking just before we play or the first few holes of playing, then there definitely is something wrong here, something that we can do to try and resolve this pain. No one should be playing in pain and we shouldn't just accept pain for what it is. But what's important here is to understand what type of pain it is we're getting and maybe start to understand a little bit about why we're getting that pain. So I want you to kind of categorize and think about yourself in this scenario of what type of pain it is you're getting out of these two situations. The first one is a type of pain that seems to subside when we start moving. So maybe a pain that we start the round with, that actually when we get to hole five, six, seven, the pain doesn't seem as severe. Or maybe we got there early and we'd done a warm up that we should do. And actually at the start of the warm-up, we felt a little bit stiff and we felt a little bit of this pain. Or actually once we've got warmed up, by the time we get to the first tee, there's no pain there. Or the second type of pain that either doesn't subside or potentially gets worse the longer we play. And I think there's two really key differences here. And I think the way that we need to perceive these pains and treat these pains is very different. The first one tells me that there's a lack of movement there, probably a lack of mobility there. Uh, maybe it's a few niggles, few old injuries that just seem to creep up when we're not moving a lot. But once we get the body warm, once we start getting our blood flow, once we start mobilizing the body, actually we feel like this pain subsides. And in all honesty, it's going to be very unusual for you to get up day to day and just have everything perfect every day. But it could be a sign that we're maybe not quite as in a ready state as we could be all the time. Some extra mobility work might help that. And just keeping a general mental log of what type of pains we're experiencing would be useful in that situation. But where I really want to give you some value is this second situation. So in this second situation, if there hasn't been a, a, a noticeable trauma, if we haven't had a, a noticeable injury or surgery in the past, then there is something we are doing that is causing this pain to increase and not subside. And again, this could be down to many different factors. This could come down to our mobility, it could come down to our training, it could come down to our daily lifestyles, it could come down to our jobs. Uh, so many aspects that could be involved here, but the key is that we understand that there is something deeper going on here if this pain increases or doesn't get any better with movement. So if it gets worse the longer we play, there's gonna be two things here. One, it could be our mobility, which is offloading and putting work into areas that shouldn't be doing the work, which is causing us to have inflammation and pain. Or it could actually be our golf swing technique, which is causing or onsetting this pain. So if you are in the second category of the pain not subsiding with movement and potentially getting worse, then there's definitely some extra investigation that you need to do. I go on about this a lot, but I recommend that everyone has a mobility screening and has an understanding of how their body's moving. And if you are in the second, second category, this could really help you. But also in what should form part of that is actually reviewing your golf swing technique and seeing if there's anything in the swing that might be causing some of this pain. And this is what I do in the screenings that I do, and I know a lot of good coaches do the same. It's about matching up these physical attributes and the technique to find out and get a full picture of exactly what's going on. So if you're in the first category and the pain subsides, keep an eye on it, but don't panic too much at this point. Just keep an eye, keep up with your normal training, your normal mobility, and just keep an eye on that and make sure that it's still subsiding with movement. If you're in the second category, you really need to have a look at your movement potential and your goal swing because if you're getting pain and it's getting worse as you go, that is not gonna go away just by waiting for something to happen. Either you're gonna get a breakdown and you're gonna be injured and you're not gonna be able to play, or the pain is gonna to get too much and you're not gonna to wanna to play. So if you are playing with pain and you're in either of these categories, I always offer a free strategy call to come and consult with me and see what the best course of action would be for you. So with details in the comments below of how to book that in. So thank you for watching this video. If you found something of value, it'd be great for me if you hit the like button. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below as well. But until then guys, See you in the next video.